I just wanted to show you guys these new razors I'm trying out. This is not sponsored, this was not a PR gift. I fell for an ad on Facebook and I just thought I would give this a try because I've never really found a razor that I loved and these are called Billy Razors. It's like one of those razor membership clubs. So I thought I'd give it a shot. It's very well priced and also like, let's be real, it's a cute razor <laughs> and it has this little magnetic thing that hangs it on the wall in your shower. And it came with one replacer cartridge, razor with another cartridge on it. And then what else is in here? The holder. I think that's just the box. I had already opened all this up and then I was like, well, I'll show you guys in case it turns out to be awesome. But it's just really cute. And they send you replacement razors for like eight bucks a month, which, you know, it's insane how expensive razors are at the store. So I'll let you guys know if this is anything worth trying. It looks really cute though. Hi guys. I'm gonna use you to fix my makeup. How are you? I am sitting in my car waiting. This is that Tom Ford lipstick, by the way, that I posted a picture of on Instagram, and it's number 82 Alexander. It's such a pretty, nice nude. I just, every lipstick I have, it's like this color. <laughs> I can't help myself. Um, I'm just sitting in the car waiting to get my nails done. So excited, so necessary. And they couldn't take me for another 30 minutes, so I was just gonna sit there on my phone and then I was like, or I could go to the car and chat with you guys. So obviously I picked you and I'm so ready to get, I'm getting both my nails and my hair done today, highlighted. And I'm so ready for like the pick me up, you know? And I feel like these types of days always wind up be the, being the best days to catch up with you guys because I'm like, you know, in the car and I have time to chat. Um, this is the Buxom Dolly lip gloss and it tangles so good. And then I forgot to tell you what I just did. I just put on this Stila blush that I carry in my purse. <laughs> And the color has completely rubbed off. Might be time to get a new one. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't usually touch up that much during the day, so I just feel like it. I'm gonna put on this cute little Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I think I got this with my Sephora points. But, um, I feel like we have so much to chat about. I don't even know where to start. So that's what I'm doing today. I just ran a bunch of errands and I have a few more to do. And then like I said, I have my hair appointment and this week is just so busy. Like I feel like I'm in, is this, is this the busy season for you guys too? Like I feel like I'm just suddenly in the busy season. Like work is so busy, which I'm really happy about. Um, always grateful for that. But then I have so many videos I'm trying to do for you guys right now for YouTube. And like we have, people visiting and so much social stuff and like tickets to cool things coming up. Sorry, I'm in this random parking garage. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's all good. Now I'm putting on my lotion, the rich girl hand cream that, look, it's on its last legs. Luckily, I'm gonna restock soon. I just realized I'm like out of gas. I'm like sitting here wasting it. I don't even need air conditioning because it's so beautiful in LA today. It's in the 80s, but it feels so good. My bun is so big and messy that it's like hitting the roof of my car. But I was kind of happy with how it turned out. Do we like it? Should I do a messy bun tutorial? Because I feel like I'm kind of perfecting it. You know, perfecting that like imperfect look. So what else? What have you guys been up to? What are you doing? Are you excited for springtime? Is it spring where you are? This is a vitamin water zero. It's actually pretty good. Usually things that are zero taste so like sucralose-y, <laughs> like Splenda-y, but this one tastes pretty good. I don't know what, I'm trying to figure out what they sweetened it with. Stevia, but I don't know, it tastes good to me. But I guess I need to run in before I lose my 
Manny spot, but I'm gonna try and do a cool cheesy thing here. So these are my before nails and now, ta-da! <laughs> I got them such a pretty red. I wanted to do like a really retro red. <sighs> but it took forever, forever. Even though I was waiting with you guys for a while, I still had to wait in the salon and then I think it was like that nail text like first time maybe she did a great job she was really sweet but it took so long oh my gosh so now I'm running late to my hair appointment and this is such a first world conversation I'm having with you like I'm not trying to complain but I'm just a little flustered um, I just hate being late like I'm not a late person my husband can be late to anything and he doesn't he doesn't, it makes it sound bad, but he doesn't feel bad when he's late. Whereas if I'm late, I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody's waiting on me. I feel so awful. So I probably should just chill like him and not sweat, but I don't know. I just don't like to be late. It's the worst feeling. I don't know how chronically late people function. I would just be a mess because I'd be feeling so guilty all the time. Ah, and I really wanted to get a Starbucks to continue my first world problems here. Um, I really wanted to get a coffee because doing my hair usually takes a really long time since I have a lot of hair and um, the guy who does my highlights is amazing and he really, really is thorough. So I wanted to get like a big old coffee to get me through, but I guess that's not happening now. this parking garage is free. I feel like I was here way too long. Three dollars. I'm um, just cleaning up. It's actually I was gonna say it's late, it's like 8.15, but I have so much more I'm trying to power through today and I'm cleaning up, but I just paused to open. I placed a Sephora order, Sephora order literally just so I could get the perks because <laughs> they actually had good ones. I haven't been that into the perks in a while, so I was happy to see there were some good ones. This I haven't tried. You know I love my dry bar hair products. And this is a volume boosting root lifter. So that sounds fantastic. I will report back. I'm very curious if it's like a dry shampoo texture or like a foam. I can't really tell what's going on. Then I got a sample of my favorite lip gloss, the Buxom. It's very tingly. It feels, I kind of have come to love the way it feels. I hated it at first, now I'm addicted. And this is in the white Russian color, which is so pretty, so me. It's like a pinky, peachy, creamy um, blush. I don't know. I was really excited to try this color because I've been eyeing it. Then as you know, us planner girls, I saw a pin and notebook set and I was like, yes, that's perfect. I got to get it. But I was a little disappointed because I thought it would have a pin loop that this went in. Not that that's a big deal, but for some reason it's a big deal to me, but it's a cute little Sephora pin. And I was super happy to discover it's like felt tip, my kind of tip. Ooh, you know what? This is skinny. I wonder if there's any miracle chance it would fit in my planner. I'm gonna check that and let you know shortly. But um, the notebook itself is just kind of meh. I was happy that the dot it has dot like a grid of dots instead of lines. That's always a fun change. So, you know, you can never have too many notebooks and pens. Then, of course, I've been wanting to try this essence because the hype is insane on this product, the SK2 Essence. So I'm very happy to get this little sample and it also came with their moisturizer. So we'll see what that's about. Then I also got, what is this even? I don't even remember. It's amazing the stuff you can pile in your Sephora cart. But all of this was free, it was all points, so I was happy. What is this? There we go, it's called Vanilla Kiss. Oh my gosh, right up my alley. Caviar slick no stick eye color I really dig creamy eye colors and also like crayon style eyeshadows so this should be fun I can't open it one-handed let me set you down 
Okay, so I just opened it and swatched it, and it's a very creamy. I think it's... I'm not sure how to feel about that color. Like, that's a weird eyeshadow color, I feel like. Probably better for the brow bone, I'm thinking. Sorry, I'm trying to blend it. Hmm. I don't know what to make of that. The lighting in here is not great, but I do like the consistency, because usually when you get a cream or a crayon eyeshadow, they're just like full-on glitter, like almost too much glitter, so... That's interesting. And I brought my planner over so we can see if that pen fits. Because you know, this one has been the only one that fit for me for so far. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with this. But it was worth a shot. Dang, so close. This freaking pin loops, they drive me nuts. Okay. <laughs> oh well, at least it'll be a good like extra pen to stick in my purse. Okay, what else do we get? We got the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Anytime I can snag a product from Fresh with my points, I always, always do because I just love Fresh. Then they actually got my samples almost correct. We were talking on my Instagram about how the Sephora samples are like never what you asked for, but I think I asked for this because I like to throw these in my convertible and if I'm driving around, put the top down, decide I need some extra SPF, I can just use this. And then I know I asked for this. This is the Wild Fox perfume. I mainly got the sample because it smells 100% identical to the Glossier perfume in my mind. So I just kind of wanted to test if I'm remembering that correctly. I think it's kind of weird that Glossier made their perfume smell exactly like this perfume which came out before it because I remember when this came out, I was like really hyped up. But it smells good. It's a very powdery, feminine, I don't know, kind of grandmotherly, but in a good way, fragrance. And then I don't think I asked for this, but I will take it. It's a cover effects sample of various, what are these? Eye creams? Yes. So that's exciting. I feel like more eye creams are happening in the world these days. Amethyst looks fun. These look good. But see, they're very glittery, which most creamy formulas are, I feel like. Anyway, that was my little samples and points haul. I think, was it this? There was something I had to spend $25 to get. I think it might have been the SK2. I don't, that was definitely points, that was definitely points, that was points, yeah. I think it was this SK2, but I figured it would be worth it because I wasn't about to invest in a full size SK2. And I always try to keep some things on my Sephora cart that I can just, that's like a $25 purchase I can spend just to get whatever freebies they have at the time. Okay, you might be a skincare addict if you order a separate refrigerator just for your skincare. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually so excited about this. I had the brainwave because if you guys saw my like fridge organization, it's a little messy right now by my standards, but you know I have this drawer that's literally just skincare. Nate is the biggest sport ever and he's a sweetheart, but I was like, you know, Maybe it's ridiculous that I'm taking up like 10% of our fridge. Like I really need a cheese drawer. Um, and also my laziness couldn't be more intense because I was like, how nice would it be if I woke up in the morning and my cooled eye gels were in a little fridge right next to the bed and I didn't even have to get up. I could just put them on and then lay there and like browse through my phone and leisurely wake up. I cannot get this to open one handed. Like I know that's so ridiculous, but doesn't it sound dreamy just to have a lazy morning in bed? and not even have to get up before you can have a cold rose water mist on your face <laughs> and a chilled eye patch. I mean, is that so much to ask for? So I did some research because I was like, obviously getting a whole mini fridge is ridiculous. And I found this. This is kind of weird. It has somebody else's name and address on the box, but it was in an outer box that came to me. Anyway, I got it on Amazon. Like I get ev literally everything in my life is from Amazon or Sephora <laughs> or Ikea. But um, this is cool. It's like a cute little cooler. It's thermoelectric, electric, so obviously it's not gonna be as powerful as like a complete fridge, but I'm sure it'll be more than fine for skincare, which I just want it to be cool to the touch. And I just think this will be so cute. So I'm gonna load it up right now. And obviously, huge win that it came in pink. I'm thrilled. And it's got just like a retro vibe that I'm digging. <laughs> This, I feel like this is the best idea I've ever had. I don't know, I'll report back. It's probably over the top, but I'm so stoked. Look how cute it is. Okay, first of all, I'm living for the fact it has this little mini shelf 
I don't know what they think will fit there other than my eye masks. It's so perfect. And then down here, I have my other eye patches. These are the ones I'm truly, truly obsessed with. And I decanted my um, rose hip seed oil into a smaller bottle that fit and my fresh rose toner. So those now fit perfectly here. Cause in the morning, if you see my beauty routine video, I like to do a rose toner spritz, use some rose hip seed oil. And then I also have my jade rollers and my gua sha stones. <laughs> I feel like this fridge was made for skincare. But that said, it would have a lot of other good uses. Like you could put it on your desk at work, keep some drinks, you could take it on trips cause it can run on car power. I don't know, I'm, ex I'm very excited that I thought, hmm, I wonder if a really tiny fridge exists and it does. <laughs> and it's so cute. I'll report back if it keeps things really cold or not and how it works for skincare. Hi guys. <laughs> what are you doing? We are driving to Malibu and I decided to say hi. I've got my mister here, but he's working. He's such a hard worker. Well, hardly. Not really showing very well. I don't That's have a cool. good place to prop the camera, sadly. But we're going to meet some family that are in town and we're gonna go have dinner at this really cool restaurant that's like out over the ocean. So very excited. It could not be a more beautiful day in LA. It's like, it's probably 70 degrees. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a little overcast. It's overcast? What are you talking about? It's a little Oh easy. my gosh, look at him, what he's complaining about. I'm driving, so I shouldn't be doing this. No. Look at that. Who would complain about that? Well, it's a little oh, easy. You're funny. We're spoiled in LA. Um, True. So anyway, I thought it'd be fun to take you guys because I took you to the beach in a vlog recently, but that was further south. So now we're going up to Malibu of Barbie fame. <laughs> and it's really just one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, I think, don't you think? Oh yes. Well, yes. It's so beautiful. I do enjoy the cliffy, like Hawaii beaches. Those well, really it has cliffs, or do you mean like That's straight true. down? I, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> Remember that one cliff where you took the picture of me? Yeah, That yeah, was like straight down. That was, yeah, it was beautiful. Anyway, so I wanted to make sure to show you guys. I know I've gotten some very urgent requests for a tour of LA. Yes, we're gonna do it. We are gonna do it. I'm gonna take this guy. Won't that be so fun? The most handsome tour guide in we LA. We have actually had a list, an ongoing list. Can I say this? Of course. <laughs> uh, we've actually had an ongoing list of LA landmarks we've been wanting to see. Uh, and we've been checking them off slowly, but this will allow us to like knock that whole bucket list out. So thank you guys yeah. for inspiring that. It'll be so fun. It'll probably be a little while because we are so booked. We have something like every single day. What are you looking at? I just noticed it looked like I was flipping off the camera because oh. of the way I was holding my phone. Unfortunately, Sorry. it's probably not a great shot, but um, Anyway, we're so overbooked right now, but it's all fun stuff, so I'm certainly not complaining. And it's good to be busy with work, so I'm not complaining about that either. What are you doing? But I want to live up there, look at that. Yeah, seriously, the houses and like you condos along here. There. I was walking down the street the other day, trying to distract myself. But then I see your face, so wait, that's someone else, so trying to play it coy, trying to make it disappear. But just like the battle joy, there's nothing subtle here. In your room, there's a king size space, bigger than it used to be. If you want, you can rent that place, call me an amenity. Oh, oh, oh. even if it's in my dreams, oh. This is our favorite restaurant in Malibu. So obviously the view is amazing, but like, here's our table, and here's the ocean. Can you go to the rock? Can you see the rock? I think they, yeah, so beautiful. Oh, you mean below us? These uh, rocks? Yeah. If I drop my camera, I'm gonna blame yeah, you. <laughs> But this is just the coolest restaurant because you're just literally over the ocean. And we're so happy to be here. It's so gorgeous. We just ordered a cocktail. I got a glass of champagne and Nathaniel got a Manhattan. I don't know why I'm calling you Nathaniel today. <laughs> Have you noticed that? It's very formal. Yes. 
Nady. I prefer to call him Nady. But we, <laughs> we're just waiting for our family to get here, so we're sneaking in a little date. Get. <laughs> <laughs> Sephora sales going on but Ulta is also having an amazing sale where they sent a coupon for 20% off pretty much everything they're not as amazing as Sephora at literally discounting every single thing in the store I think some of the high-end stuff they sometimes don't cover but this time everything I wanted was covered so I thought I'd show you what I got obviously I um, spent it all on the Sephora sale but I still had to pick up a few things so I found the room in my beauty budget. I got this. Um, I thought I got this at the Sephora sale, but I accidentally got their moisturizer. And so I went back to pick up the eye patches. I use these every morning. My eyes just don't even look the same if I don't use these. I love them so much. And 20% off helped a ton. I kind of wish I had picked up two of these actually. Then I got two products from MAC I can't live without. I love that MAC is at Ulta. I got my Prep and Prime spray. I have to finish my makeup with this every day. I just love it. It sets my makeup so well, but it's still dewy and hydrating. And it smells, something about it is like so refreshing. They actually came out with a lavender, a rose, and a coconut, but I still just love the original scent of this. And then I also always get my eyeliner there. It's their technical liner and it just, it's like a twist up and it's like a very good shade of black. And it's the only thing that will write on my waterline. I feel like anything else just doesn't want to stick right there and this works perfectly. Then I got these magnetic lashes, kind of an impulse buy. I've never tried them before, I'm intrigued. I really don't like messing with eyelash glue. I've been working really hard to regrow my lashes ever since I used to get extensions and they kind of damaged them. I need to do it like a story time on that. But in the meantime, I think I'll try these magnetics and see if I can make it work. I'm a little hesitant. <laughs> and then lastly, look how beautiful this case is. I was looking for, honestly, I was looking for a caboodle. Do you remember caboodles? <laughs> I wanted a case to keep my makeup in that I could like throw it in the car for a road trip or just have it on hand. And I was walking around the store carrying a caboodle that wasn't that cute to be honest. And then I saw this case and I was like, wow, it's beautiful. And then furthermore, it comes stocked with basically an entire makeup collection. Oh, there's my belt. <laughs> um, I just thought this was so cool. And it was only 24, 99 and then it got I got 20% off on it. So such a deal. I love this cute little pockets right here I think these are so cute. So it came with these brushes What are these lip liners? It's all Ulta brand which I haven't really tried their makeup. So I'm very curious to try it. There's a primer An eye primer. That's cool. And it's tinted champagne color shadows and lipsticks liquid lipsticks and lip glosses so Looks like there's even something else down there. What's under here? Is that a coupon? That's kind of random. I guess it comes with a coupon. Unless that's like a mistake. Uh, does this side have a coupon? Nope. That's kind of random. But anyway, I thought I could use this case for my makeup and it's just so cute. And then I have all this new stuff to try too. So that was great, and then I did, this is gonna keep happening throughout the sale. I did pop back into Sephora for another thing I forgot on my list, which was the Paracone Firming Foam Mask. I've heard some intriguing reviews of this, and I really wanted to try like a foaming product because it really gets in your pores, and it just makes your face feel so clean. So I thought this would be interesting to try because it's also very hydrating, at least from when I sampled it on my hand in the store. <laughs> Then with my points, I got the IT Secret Sauce. I was super happy to scoop this up because I love IT Cosmetics. I think their stuff is fantastic. I'm sure this moisturizer is great. I don't honestly usually splurge on their moisturizers because they're not cheap, but I love getting them with my points. Running errands. I don't know why, but I just I genuinely enjoy running errands. It's so fun, especially if I can bring you guys. To Burbank. Um, I just put some lip gloss on, by the way. This is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream. I love these. It's in the pink lady color. But um, anyway, so we're headed to Burbank. I have to pick up a dress at 
feels like it's opening day in 1955. So I got the dress for that. Um, I'm gonna be ending this vlog before then, so I don't know, maybe I'll do a separate vlog at Dapper Day because it really is very fun to see everybody dressed like that. But um, anyway, if you're ever in the market for anything vintage or retro, I recommend shop and I would take you inside with me maybe I will but last time I took you guys in the store I got in trouble with YouTube because it, they were playing like copyrighted music on the loudspeaker I just finished the most delicious coffee look how they wrote my name Sharla I get that a lot that's funny especially out here in the West people just like have not heard of the name Charlotte <laughs> it's so weird but um actually the girl who made my coffee didn't call me Sharla, she called me baby girl, and I thought that was so cute. I don't know, I'm curious to get you guys' opinion on this. Like, how do you feel about pet names? I, like, my heart just melts if anybody calls me a pet name. I think it's so sweet. Like, I know a lot of people feel like they're being talked down to. Like, I was with a friend going through a drive-thru and the lady called her, like, sweetie or something, and she's like, oh, she's like talking down to me. I don't know. I just think it feels, I just think it's sweet. I'm, I'm like a sucker for nicknames and pet names. I almost never call Nate by his real name. Like I have a million nicknames for him. I call him like Hero. That's my favorite nickname for him. But you know, we call each other Babe and Baby and I call him Handsome, Prince Charming. I don't know. I just love nicknames. I think they're so sweet. So I'm curious if you guys like that too, because whenever somebody calls me, a pet name in public I'm like oh thank you but you know I don't want to be weird about it <laughs> but I personally love that also this was the best drink ever it was a soy chai I haven't had one in so long and I felt like treating myself and it was so freaking good just such a treat oh my gosh it's not from Starbucks I don't like their chai their chai is like too clovey this is from Ebar which is the coffee shop in um, Nordstrom so I'm Obviously just like running errands today and not wearing anything super fancy, but this shirt is so cute. It says, gosh, being a princess is exhausting. I just thought that was adorable. It's actually from Amazon. You guys know I purchased my entire life on Amazon. So I will put a link down below for you, but I just thought it was so cute. I've been finding the cutest t-shirts lately. I got another one that's pink and it says beauty school dropout. I love it. So. You'll see that one soon too, I'm sure. But anyway, look how cute this is. I just love their style. This bag is so cute. And then the pink tissue paper. So I'll just do a quick um, unbagging of what I got. But okay, I kind of have a thing for shower caps. They're so fun and retro. And so I picked up this really cute one. It's like a pink peachy Look at my manicure, by the way. Tragedy struck. Um, just like a, you know, cute little shower cup. I don't know, I thought the packaging, the vintage packaging just kind of called to me. Okay, you guys are gonna love this. Pink Barbie t-shirt. How cute. The only thing is they only had it in an extra large and it's like, I could wear it like a nighty, <laughs> Which I decided to just go ahead and get it and I figured I could use it as a sleep shirt or even like with leggings maybe, but um, I'm gonna see online if I can get a smaller size. And then I got this dress, which I won't be able to show you in here, but it's a, basically, you know the famous picture of Marilyn Monroe where her skirt is blowing up over the subway? This is the dress I was going for. So it's like an ivory, silky halter top. I'm sure I'll post a ton of pictures on Instagram, so just, you know, you'll see. And then the last thing I got was this adorable keychain. It's a little flamingo. He's so cute. I love it. It's so adorable. I've decided to really start embracing my love for flamingos. <laughs> they're just perfect in every way. I mean, they're pink. Obviously, it's a huge win for me. They're retro. So I love that. They're Florida, which is, you guys know that's where I grew up. And I have a lot of nostalgia for Florida. And I don't know, they're like beachy and summery and just, especially the fact that they're so like 1950s vibes, like you should have seen in the store, so much cute flamingo stuff. So anyway, this is obviously going on my long shot bag. 
and that's all I picked up but super fun shop so now I'm in Burbank what does one do when one is in Burbank one goes to the world's largest Ikea or whatever it is um, trying to decide I probably better not take you guys because I think this vlog might be like a million years long by now so maybe we should say farewell I like to like say goodbye in my vlogs um when I'm watching a vlog and it just ends all of a sudden I sometimes feel a little bit like you know it's a little jarring isn't it? I like to have closure so <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned lots of really fun stuff a really exciting giveaway coming up on my channel please hit subscribe say hello hit me up on Instagram you guys know the drill and I will talk to you very soon